Zoom is a super popular meeting platform that at this point, basically everyone knows how to use. So a lot of podcasters will use it to record their podcast interviews. And while I, as a person, an expert in the podcasting space, would strongly recommend a different remote recording tool like Riverside or Squadcast, I know that lots of people will use Zoom and be familiar with Zoom. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most of your Zoom recordings optimize it a little bit, and then show you how you can get the audio only to upload to rss.com. Let's get started. Hey everybody, my name's Joe Casabona. I'm the rss.com evangelist. And I know that a lot of our users and a lot of podcasters around the world like to use Zoom to record their podcast interviews. And as I said at the top of the show, I think there are better tools, but I am also not one to impose other tools on other people. I am here to help podcasters do their job better. So today I want to show you a couple of settings that you could tweak in Zoom to make sure you're getting the best audio possible. And then I'm going to show you how to get just the audio from your Zoom recordings so that you can upload that to rss.com. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is under Zoom Workplace, under Settings, and I should say I'm doing this on my Mac, It'll be similar on Windows. Uh, you want to go to audio and make sure that you're recording the audio appropriately, that all the settings are good here. So uh, you want to test the levels, make sure you're picking up the right default microphone. Uh, and then you can also, if you want, have uh, some of the Zoom background noise removal uh, stuff added. So, you know, if you want auto, low, medium, high, you can turn it off if you want unopinionated audio, but if you're going to go right from Zoom to releasing the episode, you should probably keep it on. Uh, now, you can also try personalized audio isolation if you're in a noisy environment, uh, but I would tweak and test these settings because they're going to vary depending on the recording environment. The real magic is in recording. So you can see where your recordings are stored and then you can choose, and I would strongly recommend that you choose to record a separate audio file for each participant. So what this will do is record your audio and the guest's audio separate, because if you are editing, having separate tracks will make this part a lot easier. Now, if you're not, or you know, you don't, the over talking or like barking in the background doesn't bother you. Uh, and I would just say you should really do some editing on your episodes. If someone's, if someone else's dog is barking while you're talking, that's something that you can easily edit out if you have separate audio tracks, or if your audio is a lot better than your guests, then you can clean up the guest's audio without negatively impacting your audio. So I will say I strongly recommend editing and cleaning up your episodes. A little bit of editing can go a long way. But if you are going to record your podcasts in Zoom, I would either way record separate audio for each participant. You're just it's going to make your life easier in case you need it. I would also have optimized for a third party video editor on. Again, this is if you choose to edit in the future, having this will save you a lot of time. So these are the settings that you want to have during recording. Once you record, you'll want to go to your Zoom folder. And I have two different recordings here that I want to show you. The first was with another person. And this is with the separate audio recording. So you could see there's a folder called audio recording and it has just my audio and just the guests audio. There is also a combined audio file. This is the file that we are going to use to upload to rss.com. And there's also the video file. So if you do decide that you'd like to add a video component to your podcast, you can use this file. You can't upload video files directly to rss.com, but if you're going to use YouTube or you're going to upload the video to Spotify for creators, this will come in handy. Okay, so now let's get to the actual uploading, right? So this is going to be really straightforward. We'll click on a new episode in our podcast. We'll click upload audio and we'll go to the Zoom folder. 
And this time I will showcase the other one. This was just me. So there's not a separate audio track. It's just my audio and video. So I will upload the audio file, give it a title. We can add a simple description and then we'll click save draft. We'll do our processing over on rss.com and then we'll be able to publish it. So there you go. That's how you can make the most of recording your podcast interviews and audio with Zoom and then use the audio only file to upload directly to rss.com. My name's Joe Casabona. I'm the rss.com evangelist and if you have any questions about how to make the most of Zoom or you want us to showcase other podcast recording tools, let us know in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. And until next time, I'll see you out there.